TVC News Ola Awako put together this report on Ashiwaju's days of humble beginnings. The man who many described as the most astute living politician in Nigeria was born on the 29th of March, 1952. The movie that is tough! <laughs> Let me two face Dibia and Thames. Don't go down mature, crazy things are happening in me. I don't go down mature, crazy things are happening. <laughs> now, Kayamo said, don't go mature. The jungle has matured now, now that they hide. So, TBC go do documentary on Tinubu, who said the high blood pressure is not strong. We have argued and queried who Tinubu actually is. Where are you from? Who born you? Where is your origin? Where is your source? Now they go to the documentary. Part of the code of the documentary now, one of the pictures where they use, where they take the class in a Tinubu young boy, Donald Duke, former governor of Cross River State, don't see any picture of that. <laughs> he said, may they, may they remove that documentary from the internet. May they not try it, or you go sue them. <laughs> Who is Tinubu indeed? Who is Tinubu really be? The tea not there everywhere. Donald Duke sent a picture of that. Remove my picture now. What are they my picture? That was when I was 12 years old. At Federal Government College in Sokoto. Now he did see another picture with this. But Tinubu said now. See, everything about Tinubu is shrouded in deceit, in lies, in manipulation. Nothing is real. He don't teach you TV station, TVC, so they lie. That is to tell you that in Tinubu's presidency, everything will be a lie. Ah! God forbid, bad thing. Also, you go watch the video of the documentary short clip. Then you go watch Ruben Abati, a once antagonist of the obedient. I've always said it. No one no stress myself. Anybody who says they don't want Peter, be made a vote anybody they like. All of us go survive. After all, we survive. Why? We go here. But if you really want the future of this country to be great, you know what to do. Watch Ruben Abati talking beautiful well about Peter Abi because the picture is clear. As remember, but he don't do Peter Birish. He has not made a statement. He has not attacked him. He has not criticized him. Peter B focused on the goal. But Abati has not seen and said, This is the light. Abati has seen the light. Watch the video and a clip of what's happening on your stage will give you full gist of what is happening for Ibadan. As the obedient rally or the crusade lands in Ibadan. Watch all these things, then share the video. Share this video, let it go viral. Let the world see that Tinubu is a deceiver, a manipulator, a liar. Abati has seen. That Peter B is a good man. You know, they fight anybody. The good things are happening with them. Crazy things are happening. Share the video. Watch it. Share the video. Let it go viral. Good night. TVC News Ola Awako put together this report on Ashiwaju's days of humble beginnings. The man who many described as the most astute living politician in Nigeria was born on the 29th of March, 1952. In the United States of America, he studied accounting and graduated in 1979. There's your Anese Indigo. There's also the Anese Indigo worldwide. Your Anese Indigo is the one that is led by uh, Professor George Obioso. Yesterday at the Nigerian Institute of International Affairs, your Anese Indigo, um, led by Professor Obioso, had this lecture on nationalism and nation building delivered uh, by Professor G.D. Uh, Oshnukun. And then, of course, yesterday, we also had the statement from our amazing the worldwide uh, through the spokesperson, Dr. Alex Ogunna. I hope I got the uh, <clears throat> pronunciation correct. Previously, I had, I had criticized that group that Ogunna sp speaks for, you know, uh, for bringing deities, uh, in NBC and Arochuku into the matter, but there's no doubt that Mr. Pitobi, the Labour Party candidate, enjoys enormous support, enthusiastic support, uh, not just in the Southeast, among his own key thinking, but across Nigeria. And what you are is a Indigo worldwide, the Obuna uh, faction has done, is to say that, look, this is a man that we believe in. This is uh, you know, the Peter Obi phenomenon that they think every Igbo person should buy into. And they talked about his competence, his emphasis on character, his emphasis on productivity. And that to that extent, you know, an easy Indigo worldwide endorses Peter Obi.
But it's not only Oanese Indigo Worldwide that endorses P2P. He has broad-based support. And that broad-based support is even indicated on the front page of this day newspaper this morning, in one of the stories, where uh, Pa Ayuadi Banjo, leader of Afeni Ferry, insists that look, from the point of view of equity, justice, and all of that, Peter B is the right person for the job because it will not be fair to continue to marginalize Igbos. It will not be fair for Nigeria to continue to be 50 years, more than 50 years after, as if the civil war has not ended. And that the marginalization of Igbos is at the heart of the Nigerian question. So all these groups that support Peter B, they're projecting as a symbol of the need to address a sore point uh, within the uh, national question. That is that about that. Now, let's move on to his appearance yesterday at the Nigerian Guild of Editors. Well, I think that at the Nigerian Guild of Editors uh, Forum, uh, Mr. Pitobi offered what could be considered an equivalent of a master class in leadership. Now, yes, it is true that he said he doesn't need a manifesto where many people will not agree with him. Because when you have a manifesto, it's like defining your roadmap. It's like defining your contract with the people of Nigeria. It's like saying, this is what I want to do. And for a man uh, who says he should be held responsible for whatever he does, he should be held accountable, then it's probably you know, a good idea uh, to put everything down in black and white. However, anyone who has listened closely uh, and attentively to P2B will understand what his uh, seven-point agenda, uh, you know, uh, convey. And it's simply that, one, he will run a lean government. Two, he will address security. He will move Nigeria from consumption uh, to production. He will ensure accountability. He will place emphasis on competence, character, and uh, integrity. Um, he was also saying, and he has said so at many forums, that uh, he doesn't think having uh, fanciful certificates, you know, is uh, what uh, exactly you need to provide leadership in Nigeria. But having a good heart and knowing that Nigeria just needs to move from where it is, from how it has been terribly mismanaged to another point. So these are some of the points he, he makes. He, he talked about fighting corruption. And he then, you know, uh, in some other ancillary uh, moments, made the point that, look, he never offered uh, Rabi Okwankwan so, the presidential candidate of uh, the uh, All Nigeria Pe uh, New Nigeria People's Party, a, uh, NNPP, uh, to be his running mate. And that, uh, you know, that is just uh, uh, pure fiction. So he has been consistent in terms of messaging, and he assured us at that Nigeria uh, Guild of Editors that the job of a leader is to provide solutions. It is not to keep complaining. And the reference is very clear. Those leaders who come, they say they want to lead Nigeria, but they spend half of the time just complaining. And, uh, you know, uh, Peter B says his own proposition is completely uh, uh, different. So I think it's again good, as we said, with regard to Kwan Kwan So, uh, that he took uh, the opportunity offered by the Nigeria Guild of Editors Forum uh, to attend that event and to interact with editors. But I'm just hoping that one of the issues that came up uh, yesterday was attendance, was the crowd, the large crowd that wanted to be part of that exercise. Maybe the Guild of Editors should begin to look uh, at the possibility of having a bigger hall so that, you know, some of these uh, persons who would like to attend, apart from editors, journalists, um, you know, maybe supporters of the candidate or even the opposition, uh, will be given the opportunities in a larger space uh, to be part of the uh, conversation. I think that that is uh, very important. However, that was not the only event that Peter will be attended yesterday. Yesterday was busy for he was also on uh, the NTA program called the uh, Candidates, where you know he had an encounter with uh, um, 
our colleague, Kedaria Ahmed, uh, who is the anchor of that uh, you know, particular conversation. And again, Peter Obi was consistent in laying out his seven-point uh, agenda. Oh,